I interrupt this regular scheduled fishing program to bring you this breaking news. It's grouse season. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So you heard that right. It is officially grouse season here in the Pacific Northwest. I am somewhere, as usual, way out in the Cascade Mountains on some old logging roads. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can't bag a grouse or two for lunch. Who knows, maybe we'll even see a rabbit or something. But let's uh, get to walking and see what we can't come up with. Soaking wet, that's the way to do it. Jeez Louise. Oh. Ah. Okay, now I gotta find that guy. <laughs> Didn't realize it was so thick in here. I love the Pacific Northwest. I fell right around here somewhere. Right under the tree he was in. Oh, there he is. See him? Ah. Ah. Hey, buddy. All right. One down. I gotta get out of here. Get that one on camera. It kind of happened pretty fast, but hey. uh, nice. Well, you guys, there's two in the bag. Uh, I know I could have got my limit if I had kept going down that road, but I'm just out for lunch today and I don't want to take more than I need, so two it is. But I'm gonna go check my uh, I'm gonna go check my chanterelle spot. I haven't been out chanterelle hunting at all this year, and we'll see if we can get some chanterelles to cook up with these grouse, and then we will go find a creek so we can process and wash up, and then we'll cook these things up. We got about two miles, mostly uphill, back to the car. Well, it is a pretty decent fall day out. Uh, it's about 51, 52 degrees, and we're uh, grouse hunting at about a thousand feet today. <clears throat> but we made it down to uh, my chanterelle spot. I just gotta, I just gotta get down a couple hundred feet off the road here, and see if there's any popping up. Well, not quite the chanterelle haul that uh, 
I was hoping for there. I found those two little guys right away and then I didn't find any more after that. I probably wouldn't even have taken them if I had known I was just going to find the two. But anyway, we'll go cook them up with that grouse. So like I said, let's go find a creek so we can wash up and process these birds and let's go make something to eat. I'm at this spot that I've never been to before, just down this creek, and uh, look what I found walking down here. A couple little chanterelles. Maybe we'll find some more, but that's a good score. All right, let me get these guys processed, and then we'll cook up some lunch. All right, so what we're left with is a bag of chicken breast, well, I guess not chicken, grouse breast cutlets. Uh, to that, I'm gonna add some salt, and then, don't harass me, but some of this Louisiana fish fry. Why? Because I'm curious to see how it is. Don't be shy. Get it on in there. Salt. Nah, why not? Seal that up. And I got my, uh, I got my chanterelles in here too, just, uh, for funsies. Probably get all smashed up when I do this, but it's all just gonna get fried up and it's all going in the same place my stomach so okay we got a nice coating on there should work now we need a nice healthy dose of uh, cooking oil so a nice layer in there we're gonna fry these bad boys up yeah yeah why not there we go all in Get the jet boil going here. Heat up that oil. It's pine needles falling in the oil. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so, so excited about this. It smells so good and looks so good. Got some nice little crispy chunks of that fish fry stuff. Mmm. Holy cow. Yeah, that's got really good flavor to it. Okay, let's try one of the chanterelles first. Nice and fried up. Oh, I love chanterelles. Nice and salty. Okay. And now, I almost said the trout. <laughs> and now for some grouse. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. That is so good. That is so good. So I actually was out grouse hunting. Uh, Two days ago, the day after opening day, um, I got some like really creepy noises in the woods. I was way out in the mountains by myself. Some really creepy noises in the woods, which just sounded like 40 or 50 feet away from me. I haven't actually watched the video yet, but I'm gonna roll a clip right now and let's see if uh, let's see if we can actually hear or see anything. I haven't even watched it yet, so I'm gonna roll that clip right now. something big. 
big out here with me. What the fuck? Those are creepy noises. Yeah, so that was super creepy, you guys. Just way out in the woods alone, there's like these, yeah, creepy noises off in the, off in the dark woods. You got, if you get an opportunity to do this, you absolutely should. I've said it on the channel before, anything is good if you deep fry it. Probably deep fry a bear turd and it'd be delicious with some salt. Actually, if you guys are curious about my cook set here, I just did a video on it. If you want to check out what I use in the backcountry as a cook kit, I'll put a link down in the description if you want to go check that out. It works super fantastic. So yesterday, there was a pretty big storm here. It just poured and poured and poured rain all day and uh, it was super windy. And so I knew today the weather would be a little nicer. So I figured yesterday the grouse would be out hunkered down because of the crazy wind and rain. And then if I came out today when the weather cleared up just a little bit and it got a little warmer, those grouse would be out feeding on the roads. And uh, I think I was right. So, I don't know, a little tip maybe. Day after it rains. And when you're out grouse hunting, I want to keep an eye. Sometimes they'll pop out right in the middle of the road, but usually they'll flush right off the side. You won't even see them. You'll just see them flush because they'll they'll be in the like they'll be in the little bushes and <clears throat> uh, growth on the side of these old logging roads. So you won't see them until they flush. It always happens all of a sudden. But I always scan. I'm always scanning both sides of the road as I slowly walk along, and I really prefer to grouse hunt on foot. Um, occasionally you'll catch one in your car, but you're just more prepared when you're on foot. Dirt bikes. Dirt bike. Don't even know I'm down here. Just enjoying the shit out of myself. Man, spending time in the woods is tough. That'll focus on that. Oh. So badass. Well, you guys, it's uh, it's the third or fourth day of grouse season, so we got four months to go. So surely there will be some more grouse videos. Um, this is just the um, the breast meat. I saved some of the other bits, the gizzard and stuff, for later, but. In another video, we'll cook up some crazy shit. Maybe the liver, the heart, the gizzard, stuff like that. But anyway, and hopefully the mushrooms start coming out a little better. But anyway, this has been a super fun, super awesome adventure. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you feel like it, hit the thumbs up button. Maybe subscribe if you're into fishing and and uh, grouse hunting and backpacking and stuff. I got a ton more backpacking and fishing videos to edit, so those will be coming out interchange with some grouse hunting videos and who knows what else but anyway thanks for watching you guys it's been a super awesome adventure we'll catch you on the next one